today we're going to add clips to the timeline. And to do that, you have to know how to select an entire clip in your browser or only a portion of a clip that we want to use in our movie. Let's get started and you'll get the hang of this and see what I mean. We're going to recreate the drone activity movie we made called Disasterville last semester. Some of you were in that class and some of you weren't. Either way is fine. Another thing you should know is that there are drones in this movie. I'll also call drones unmanned aerial vehicles or UAVs for short and I just want you to know that. To start we're going to locate the black text in our browser that says the peaceful town of Disasterville. You have to click on it to activate it then hold down and that click and drag it to your timeline. Now let's say I want to find it quick I can make my clips any size remember by this wheel icon here and I know it's towards the top here it is okay so click on it then hold it down and drag it to your timeline that's one way to import the footage that you want it's actually a bit tedious so go ahead and delete it let's try some other methods now my clips are pretty small now so let's say I want them to make them a little larger again and sometimes you have to make them a certain size for this plus button to show up. So just so you know, if you press on the plus button, that also will add the clip to our timeline. But there are still other ways. The keyboard shortcut E will add a clip from the browser to your timeline. And last but not least, there's a keyboard shortcut W. And if you press that, it does the same thing. But there's something you have to know about W and when and when not to use that. And we'll talk about that in a moment. You'll notice that the Disasterville clip is four seconds long. It says right here. And since there's only one clip in our timeline, we can look at the, the movie timeline, four seconds. But let's say that we want this clip to be 6.5 seconds, okay? If you put your playhead, this is your playhead, on your clip and you go up to Modify, Add Freeze Frame, it will add an image of your clip where the playhead was to your timeline. So we have a 7 second clip here. Let's say we only want it to be 6.5 seconds. What you can do is come to the end and drag it to the length that you want it to be and it will tell you through that little icon box where you're at in terms of the length, 6.5. Great, we've done it. Our next clip to add to our timeline is called Gazebo. It's four seconds long and let's go ahead and look for Gazebo. There's an actual brown gazebo. It's right here in the image, and there's a tall tower of red Legos in it. So click on it, and you'll notice that there's these handlebars over a clip. If you activate it, or you have to click on it to get those handlebars, okay? So we want this to be three seconds, not four. So you can actually, in the browser, do that instead of in the timeline, then add it to your timeline. All right, now I press the plus button, but once again, remember that you can press E. Let's see what happens when we press W. Now my playhead is right here. So if I press W, it puts it where the playhead is. But let's say my playhead is in the middle of our text right here. If I press W here, it actually puts the clip right where the playhead was, and that is in the middle of my text, which I don't want. So I'm going to highlight it and delete it, and then I'm going to press the plus button once again to add it to the end. 
let's say I find out that it's too short and I do want to make it four seconds, you can actually just click and drag it to do so. Thank you.